Hi everyone, this is Mamta Manish here. I have around 14 years of IT industry experience and I have experience and trainings around 5 years and I'm an IT expert. Uh, today we are going to discuss about ITIL. So the session number one is going to be introduction to ITIL. So uh, any layman is thinking what ITIL is all about because ITIL is something which is booming in the IT industries as of today. So let's discuss about ITL, understand what ITL is all about, what is the history, what are the benefits and how do we make it as a step to climb the ladder of our career. So let's see what ITL is all about. ITIL, so it is IT Infrastructure Library. It is called library because it is a set of books from which we have taken the best practices, adapted and adopted to our industry. Let's get into the history of ITIL, understand how ITIL came into picture, what was the reason that ITIL came into picture. What happened? In the 1980s, the British government hired an agency called CCTA which is Central Computer and Telecommunications Agency mm -hmm. and asked them to do a survey in the IT industries to understand what are the best practices they are adapting and also what are the drawbacks that the companies are facing in 1980s because the British government understood from the customers that the IT service providers and the customers are not on the same page when it comes to understanding the process, when it comes to understanding the language, the communication gap was there between the service provider and the customer. So to fill this gap, the CCTA came with seven books which has best practices and the drawbacks that the service providers were having. Now what the British government did? They went to all seven books with the CCTA and then adapted only two books called Service Support and Service Delivery. So these are the two books that see, uh, the British government adapted the best practices to the IT service providers in 1980s. And the version at that point of time was called V2. So the version V2 had two books which used to support and which used to uh, give the best practices for delivery. And as the time passes and the version has to change, the new improvements has to be written in those books for the upcoming service providers to adapt. The next version came into picture in 2007 called ITI V3. And now today we are studying and we are adapting the very latest version called ITI 2011. So we are currently in ITI 2011 version. Now we understood what is ITI, why ITI came into picture and why it is called library and also we understood the three versions. Now coming to the benefits after ITR came into picture, what are the benefits that we are uh, as an IT service provider and also the customer faced? Once adapting this best practices, when we speak about ITR, we speak about best practices. What is best practice? Any layman can understand that practice is something which comes on experience. So, all the experiences which is best, which is good, is been captured as a best practice from the IT service providers and which has been given as a Bible in ITIL to the service providers. So what is the result of this? When we have a best practice already in place and we adapt that in our day-to-day -day life in the IT industry, then definitely we achieve success in life. So, what ITIL gave to the customer and the service provider is customer satisfaction. As 